this is your mayor, Victor Gordel. I'm standing in my backyard, uh, but wanted to take a moment to reach out to all of you uh, and give you a brief COVID update. Uh, let me just say first and foremost that it's very important that we all do our part to keep our community safe. And that means continuing to use masks, uh, means being safely and socially distanced. Uh, I know it's a tough time for all of us to stay away from uh, one another and from family, but this is the time to do it uh, for all of our sake. Let me just give you a brief update on vaccine and where we are. First and foremost, we're in phase 1A, uh, and currently we're in the process of distributing vaccine to healthcare workers, to residents and staff of long-term care facilities. So after that, we hope to move quickly into phase 1B, uh, tier one. And this phase will include people who are ages 75 and over. Uh, those that are at risk at work, in education, in childcare, emergency services, and food and agriculture. Phase, the, fall, the phase following that will be phase 1B, tier two. Uh, and that will include uh, people uh, ages 65 to 74, and those who are at risk uh, in, of exposure at work in the following sectors, transportation, logistics, industrial, uh, commercial, uh, residential and sheltering facilities uh, and services in the critical area of manufacturing. Uh, it will also include congregate settings with outbreaks uh, such as uh, incarcerated and, and uh, homeless individuals. Uh, and then we'll move on to phase 1C uh, involving individuals 50 to 64 years of age and people 16 to 64 years of age uh, that have an underlying condition or disability. In the meantime, please know that uh, Pasadena is doing all it can uh, and uh, we uh, are going to be discussing this matter this coming Monday uh, at your Pasadena City Council. Um, but we are doing all that we can to uh, have more vaccine come to Pasadena and uh, distribute it as quickly as possible. You know, in my view, we should have the National Guard out uh, we should have all of the resources that we need uh, from the federal government, the state government, uh, and the county government to distribute this vaccine as quickly as possible. Uh, in the absence of that, you can rest assured that uh, as mayor and together with my colleagues on the city council, we are going to do everything that we can to ensure the vaccine uh, is distributed as quickly as possible. Uh, within the city of Pasadena and to the residents of Pasadena. In the meantime, I urge you to visit our website, uh, cityofpasadena.net, and refamiliarize yourself with all of the guidelines. Uh, reach out to a member of the city council, to your member of the city council, to my office, uh, the mayor's office, and uh, we can get you any information that you need. But please ensure you're staying safe. Let's work together wear a mask and socially distance. I know this is a difficult time to be apart from one another and from, from our families, but Pasadena, neighbors, friends, this is the time. This is the time for all of us to work together to stay safe. Uh, I'll provide another update after this Monday's council meeting for all of you uh, to share um, more information um, to share more information with all of you and for all of you to share that information with your family and friends. Uh, I reach out to all of you uh, and hope that you're all safe. Let's keep those who have been affected in our thoughts and uh, in our prayers and wish the best for them. Uh, but let's ensure that the rest of us remain safe by working together. Thank you, Pasadena. It's an honor to be your mayor.